Hey, my man, Kate Cunningham. I'm, yes, sir. I've been looking forward to this. Most definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. So, um, talk to me about the city of Detroit. Uh, do you feel it's your town? I know the fans have really embraced you. You have to uh, appreciate that. How do you feel being in the city? Yeah, definitely. I, I do appreciate it. Um, I've definitely felt the love since I've got here. So, uh, you know, playing in a city that, you know, has been appreciating me and cheering for me, looking out for me, uh, it means a lot to me, for sure. Now, I know you really wanted to be the number one pick in the draft. Everybody does, obviously. But there's a certain amount of pressure that comes with that, too. And you seem to be aware of that pressure from day one. Who, who has spent time preparing you? for this challenge and because when I listen to your interviews you always seem to see the say the right thing it's, it comes out with a, a high level of maturity that somewhat belies a 20 year old young man I so who's, that. who's helped you with that and uh, and do you do you feel pressure being the number one pick in the draft um I mean I don't really feel pressure anymore uh, it's just more you know me playing basketball trying to be the best me I can be so I know that you know there's a lot of people that look for me to perform, and I have a lot of responsibility with, you know, being the number one pick, but um, I feel like, you know, I've had a lot of people in my life to prepare me for this moment, to prepare me to, you know, be the guy. My brother, my parents, everybody, my grandparents, you know, they've always talked to me about just being humble and where you're at, and then, you know, beyond that, you know, just, just looking into, you know, everybody that's around you, studying your environment, and then, making the best out of it. I know you and your teammates spend a lot of time in the gym. Um, have you really had a chance to, to see this city, to appreciate all that it has to offer? I'll tell you a funny moment for me was uh, during the All-Star break when you were talking to Grant <laughs> Hill, and he mentioned a couple of old spots that yeah. he used to frequent. What do you prefer, floods or beans and cornbread? Say that one more time. Oh, they might, floods or beans and cornbread? And he don't know what you're talking about. He might not need it. That's like, tall. I mean, I don't really, that's not, I don't really know too much about that right now. You know, you said peas and cornbread? <laughs> beans and cornbread. It's beans a spot in Detroit. You, I guess. So, you so old, Jim. Yeah, yeah, probably beans old. and cornbread, though. I can rock with that. <laughs> I can rock with that. Beans and cornbread's a restaurant. I'm sure you know that by yeah, now. Yeah, I know that now. <laughs> so I, the whole lot of people let me know about that. Um, I haven't got to see the city good enough. I'll say that. I, I definitely will use this off season to get used to the city, know some more spots, but um, yeah, he, he definitely tried to, you know, he thought I knew about it, and then <laughs> I was all mixed up. I don't know about them two spots, but I know now. So. Yeah, I was at Little Caesars Arena on draft night when you were drafted, and they went berserk. They're still going berserk. How do you, how do you like the fans and how they have received you so far in this town? Yeah, me and um, Marvin were just talking about it. Uh, you know, every game, it feels like, like the environment, the atmosphere, the fans bring. Um, you know, it feels like we're a winning team, and you know we're getting to the to the point where we're going to be a playoff caliber team. Um, they treat us like that already, and our record doesn't show it. So, having that love, um, having that support from the city, means a lot to us. And you know, I feel like they've definitely made us want to work harder to win for them. And you know, like I said, having their support. Um, you know, it only makes us better, so it's been great.